the District of Taylor is the first northern community in BC to adopt the hybrid health care service. The district announced the reopening of the Taylor Medical Clinic. This has been so quick and it's been so great um, yeah, and it's just, uh, it's endless what can really happen here, not just for Taylor but for the whole area uh, and the whole north. It, it, it can show the small communities that you can do it. I don't even think it's been six, seven, six, seven weeks maybe, uh, less than two months. And, and um, you know, they were looking for obviously a solution to their, their physician shortage. Um, myself and Dr. Godley, Mark Godley uh, of Live Care, we came and did a presentation for them, showed them the technology, showed them how patients would be taken care of. Live Care would like to be a part of the solution uh, with the entire health care delivery model. Lifecare itself is a company of, uh, you know, started with by doctors and um, we're here, we provide uh, medicine from afar. So uh, usually using, um, you know, both uh, physicians usually uh, live in communities, but when they're not in communities, we're using these telemedicine services technology as an enabler, allowing us to connect and, and follow up and see patients when they're not directly in front of a physician. So using video conferencing, using tools like stethoscopes and special cameras and otoscopes that have that have feed on them so we can actually in real time see what a doctor would be seeing if they were in front of the patient. Uh, with the changes in immigration laws and immigration practice for physicians, um, physicians from other countries can no longer come to Canada that easily. For Taylor, we have chosen to use a registered nurse model. So we have a registered nurse who is an emergency room nurse with triage uh, certification that actually can treat people and treat patients and triage them and facilitate an interview and a consultation uh, with a remote physician. So the nurse really is going to become part of the community on an ongoing basis. The physicians will come in on a regular basis and healthcare will be delivered in a continuum of care. Yeah, so basically what will happen is after we have done um, put in the patient's ears, taken photos, also taken photos of the throat, then I can send off that email, send it off to the doctor, and then once he's ready, we can do a bit of a Skype date. He can come up on here, the doctor would come up here, and we can be down here and we can have a face-to-face -face chat with the doctor. The patient can voice any concerns, I'll still be in the room present to help answer any questions or do any extra things that the doctor needs. We can also, um, with a live feed, I can still look in a patient's ears or a throat if you want a second picture of that and go from there. And then once he's all done, um, if the patient needs a new prescription, he can do that online, he can email it back to me, I can print it off, give it to the patient, and they can take it to the pharmacy. It's as if a doctor was here in person. So he'll be seeing me and seeing the online docs. And we've got doctors in San Francisco and in Vancouver. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, for one week a month, there will be a doctor present. Like, for the example, this week we've got Dr. Baik, who is seeing patients all this week. I'm one of the so-called new term of orphaned patients, so it means that I can get a family doctor again. We believe that we can probably see up to 20, 25 patients a day using this technology in combination with our healthcare team. But if we become really busy, we can certainly increase the services by bringing in a second or a third telemedicine unit that can be used also in collaboration with other healthcare workers. There will be attached patients, there will be regular patients, this will be their family practice, this will be their go-to, this will be where their records are kept, this will be where their continuum of care is. This is to work as a, a relationship builder for the, 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 the city of Taylor. So what you have here is a high-end uh, web camera with very, very good optics. That camera is hooked to medical grade video connection. Here we have a general exam camera. This is the bread and butter of telemedicine. This camera allows you to send very high resolution images in real time across the internet in a very secure way to a doctor on the other side. So this is a very, very important device, the general exam camera. From dermatology all the way to um, uh, examining the, the general state of the patient and the condition of the patient. We have an otoscope. Uh, which allows you to look in the patient's ear. 
and also has what we call a general coupler which allows you to connect to other medical devices for looking in uh, body orifices. And that's basically your bread and butter telemedicine unit. It's not a clinic that's exclusive to Taylor residents, it's for anybody in the region.